LA. I also hear the 11 with Tom Thompson hitting the way of the Ohio River as well. And we'll have a deck to deck boat duel here for Heat 1B. So, it'll be Thompson and Shane with 425 before the start. As the sun glistens off the Ohio River this afternoon, makes viewing difficult down in the West End. But, we'll do our best to call it for you as we see it. Thompson and Shane around turn one. Thompson exits one, so does Shane. 355 for the start. The wind right now, Jimmy, to your outside, in the back of your rooster tail. Thompson in that chartreuse and red. JD's metal fabrication and vehicle uplifting. That's what the trailer or the truck says, by the way. <laughs> Jimmy Shane to the U1 Home Street Bank, Miss Madison. With 3.30 to go before the start, it'll be Thompson on the inside, Shane on the outside. But still plenty of time to scrub off before the start of the heat. As Thompson's in lane two. Shane actually out in about lane four, actually. And they'll head down the front straightaway to the start-finish line. Inside three minutes to go before the start of Heat 1B. Again, Thompson on the inside, Shane on the outside. Everybody perks up a little bit here on the shoreline when the U1 comes out on the water. Thompson's already out of turn one. Shane just now exiting one. Two twenty before the start. Shane lagging back a big time now. They were about uh, side by side coming down the front straightaway, but Jimmy Shane has backed off of it a little bit. Tom Thompson on the inside and up into turn number one. To get out of position here, he's going to have to cut or something. We're looking pretty good. And he will come around and exit turn two. Shane just now getting into turn two. 150 before the start. Still trying to scrub off. Again. You're at a minute 40. Where's Jimmy? Way back behind you at the exit turn. Clear right now. I should be good. Hey, just stay there. You're a minute 27. You're good. Jimmy's at the start finish line right now. Minute 20 to go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Mark, one minute. We are at one minute before the start. It is Tom Thompson in lane one. Be better if he was inside. Well, then just slide to the outside. Force him to take it. We're at 45 seconds. So we're down to 30 seconds. 30 seconds before the start. Thompson. Way early up in turn number one. Shane, or turn two, I should say. Shane just now picking up the speed. We're at 18 seconds. And now he'll pick it up big time. Thompson goes way wide. He's going to have to kill a bunch of time with 10, 9, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
Mark, Jimmy Shane, I think, with a perfect start on the inside. He cut it around Thompson to take the lead on the inside right at the start-finish line, and we're racing. It'll be Shane coming around. He'll take the inside, and he'll get to the apex, or the entrance pin first. It is Jimmy Shane and the U1, the home street bank, as he hits some rough water down there in turn number one, but he's all right. Thompson comes up on the outside trying to make a race of it. You can barely see that chartreuse and red boat in the rooster tail, but it is. Both boats jump the gun. Both boats jump the gun. Both boats jump the gun. Both boats jump the gun, so they will both be penalized a minute. It will be Shane on the inside. It'll be Thompson on the outside. It'll be Shane with the lead, Thompson in second place as we start lap number two. Again, both boats jump the gun, so there will be a minute penalty added to both. So, it is Shane with the lead. Shane with the lead on the inside, Thompson with the closing the speed up on the outside. It is Jimmy Shane, the U1 Home Street Bank with the lead, about a half a rooster tail in front of Tom Thompson as they scream up the back straight away for the second time. It is Shane with the lead, Thompson in second, trying to close the gap as they enter turn number two. It is Shane still the lead. Thompson trying to catch up on the outside, but Jimmy Shane with a perfect turn. Boy, he cuts that one real close to the pins. It'll be down for the white flag. It'll be one more lap to go. Shane with the lead, Thompson in second. Shane with the lead headed down to turn number one for the final time. It will be Jimmy Shane and Thompson on the outside. Shane gets there first. He'll hit the wall of water down in turn number one as he'll easily make He's even with you. This is the last lap. He forgot to fly the white flag. He's even with you. Go, go, go. Jimmy Shane says, not today, Mr. Thompson. I'm going to put my foot down and I'm going to extend my lead. It's a half a rooster tail up the back straight away for the final time. Jimmy Shane with the lead. Thompson's going to have to make a heck of a turn here to catch him. But Shane's on the inside, the shorter way around the course. There comes Jimmy Shane, a perfect turn again, and he will come down, and he'll outrun Thompson to the line, and Jimmy Shane will pick up the win in unlimited Heat 1B. Nice job by Tom Thompson for second. Again, both boats jump the gun. They will be added to their time, but Shane will still pick up the victory. Thompson will pick up second place. That'll do it for heat racing for the day. The 99 is going to go out and do some uh, and do some testing laps here momentarily, but uh, that'll do it for heat racing for the day. Oh, he actually established his lane in one because he was in lane one at the entrance pin, and he just kept going straight. So I had to jump inside of him.